We're seeing an explosion of advances in the treatment of psoriasis, primarily in the systemic treatment of the disease, oral medications, uh, injectable biologics. Uh, but I believe also we'll probably see in the coming years uh, many advances in the topical approaches to this disease as well. Well, I think the first thing is to talk to the patient and, and discuss with the patient the options. Uh, we could treat uh, psoriasis with a, min, a variety of modalities, ranging from uh, phototherapy uh, to methotrexate, which has been around for many, many years and is relatively inexpensive, uh, to newer oral uh, agents uh, to the biologics. And so it's really a matter of talking to the patient, assessing their uh, preferences for how their diseases be treated uh, and their odds of, su of success. Well, for, from a patient perspective, it's incredibly important. Uh, it first, psoriasis is a, is a chronic uh, long-term disease. People suffer it with for decades. And what we've learned is that our first generation of biologics, things such as TNF inhibitors, uh, while they work uh, fairly well uh, and are very safe medications for the most part, uh, patients tend to lose response over time. So patients can do well uh, initially for the first 12 weeks or so, uh, but then over a period of years, on average, patients stop the medication primarily for losing efficacy. So for a lifelong disease, patients need options uh, for therapies that they can uh, get durable control of their condition. Yeah, well, primarily we're talking about moderate to, moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, but also, of course, psoriatic arthritis. So several of these therapies are being studied. Uh, one called um, a Premolast, for example, a new medication available uh, for psoriasis. It's also been approved for psoriatic arthritis. Now, uh, unlike uh, our FDA-approved biologics, say, uh, TNF inhibitors, which have been proven to prevent progression of joint damage in psoriatic arthritis, this has not been yet demonstrated for a Premolast. So these newer oral medications add uh, tremendous convenience for our patients. Uh, most people would rather not inject something into their skin, uh, but they haven't really uh, been able to compete with the biologics in terms of uh, their efficacy. So this has been an area of explosive growth. Uh, what we've learned about moderate to severe disease, those who have bad enough psoriasis that they need to go on uh, oral medications, biologics, or phototherapy, uh, that they have uh, a decreased life expectancy. Uh, estimates ranging from five years of life lost all the way up to 10 years of life lost uh, estimated this meeting uh, with uh, late-breaking data presented here. Uh, so serious uh, comorbidities associated with this chronic inflammatory disease, uh, the, the most best established ones seem to be cardiovascular in nature, and metabolic in nature, so uh, myocardial infarction, stroke, cardiovascular mortality, and diabetes seem to be the, uh, the best studied outcomes that are affecting these patients. Uh, on the flip side of that, emerging data that was presented at this meeting suggests that some of our successful treatments could modulate this risk down. Uh, so a recent article just came out in the Annals of Rheumatic Disease uh, has shown that, in fact, uh, TNF inhibitors uh, and methotrexate have uh, profound re reductions in uh, cardiovascular event rates in patients primarily with RA in those studies compared to patients with rheumatoid arthritis not treated with these agents.